parenting since our book is all about parenting so before we move on to pravin singh let me uh, call on mr anil to share his thoughts with us thank you thank you niyas thank you sulata one second please Okay, I think we'll need this TV. TV is on. Okay, thank you. Uh, some of us are enjoying parenthood, and some of us are not. So, uh, parenthood is a blessing that universe or God, whatever you may call it, has presented upon you. Parents play an important part in the overall development of a child, from infancy to adulthood. Parenting is a beautiful journey if it comes naturally to you, but some of us are. Yeah, we're struggling with life and society changing immensely in the past few years. There's no need in change of parenting style, especially when the children are entering their teenage years. The traditional style of parenting that worked for your parents is no longer relevant in the current generation. Hence, Praveen Singh is on eBookery platform. She's an IT professional, author, life coach, international speaker. Study that Birla Institute currently works at Oracle India Limited. Friends, help me in welcoming Praveen Singh with her own book, Parenting Pie. Welcome, Praveen. Thank you so much, Anand. That was lovely, uh, Niyas. I mean, the the way you explain the story uh, tells a very important chapter that I have spoken about, which is the value system. Uh, I will be telling more about it. I hope my voice is audible enough. Yes, you can be heard clearly. Okay, that's great. So, uh, you know, uh, this is my first book. Okay, and the reason why it's very close to my heart is not just because it's my first book. It's my experience as a parent of a teenager. I have a daughter who is seventeen years old, who challenged my kind of style of parenting. The way I was trying to repeat what I did, I mean, what I saw across the board. Like you know, it, uh, it's a very big family that I have. had so all my aunts uncles we all stayed together in the same compound a typical joint family of india and i always felt that you know i am more equipped as a parent when it comes to my parenthood and this really worked until a stage when my daughter was in her teens and then i realized that you know there's something different that needs to be done so i ran some surveys i had my own experiences i met people i have colleagues who who have kids who are in into teens and all these experience for me is is like a, a consolidation of everything be it experience you know others views and as part of that i went through a journey of becoming a life coach i wanted to mentor parents initially i thought i would actually try to mentor my child and coach her but instead i got coached when i went through the process so all this together as a symbol is the result which is this book and uh, that's the reason why it's very very close to my heart so uh, i just have this book uh, i mean i want to do a critical review of it as of now because i wrote the book when i uh, told uh, anil that you know i will be reviewing my own book he was like go ahead so it's very easy for you to be an author and talk about it but when you are doing a book review right you need to look at what all aspects so i kind of made it as a critical review you can say and uh, definitely i want you all all also to be kind of critics when i'm presenting this book to all of you and i'm doing it as as a kind of a presentation uh, because i love like you know i i'm a trainer coach everything <laughs> in a corporate world it's it, it's easier like you know some some things are like very good to visualize rather than speaking so um i hope i'm able to yeah uh, can you just enable my sc uh, screen sharing i think maybe you will have to make me the co-host just until i present in the participants you can right click and say uh, you are a co-host now done 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 pravin oh, okay thank you so much So, are you able to see my screen? Yes. 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 Great. Thank you so much. Okay. So, the book that I was talking about is called Parenting Pi: Learn the Secret Ingredients for Teens. Definitely, this is a book for parenting, I should say. 
and uh, it's not required that you know uh, only uh, parents of teenagers have to go through this book you i mean any parent can go through it the earlier the better <laughs> you know some of my friends who are who are going to be parents uh, from new zealand and australia have already purchased the book and they say that you know, they're liking it they they will know that you know whatever mistakes are done in the long run don't happen you know they say right prevention is better than cure so so this is my book uh, parenting pie learn the secret ingredients for teens and um, i would like to start off with two situations uh, okay uh, where it's a dialogue between a Uh, daughter and uh, mother uh, so i'll just uh, read it out loud uh, abby why are you crying okay uh, i don't want to talk about it mom typical teenage answer if you talk about it you'll feel better okay you know what mom scott dumped me you know in teens that's a, that's the main issue that people have like you know and i'm so happy she is at least able to express it most of the children don't do it okay so luckily if you look at it like you know the both the mom and the daughter seem to be having a good communication channel which is open okay and he what uh well good riddance i never liked him anyway and the daughter says but i did mom so the mom here tries to instead of trying to understand her feelings she she tries to end the conversation and say that you know what whatever happens happens for good right so says honey forget about him you will have plenty of other bo- boyfriends and the daughter immediately reacts she she expected this answer that's what you think right and and this is how you would react always yeah so i just want to compare this conversation with another conversation okay let me just my so so uh abby something is making you un- unhappy in this scene if you look at it right the mom is first trying to understand the daughter's feelings okay instead of questioning her she's she's kind of trying to guess and making making an open statement which her daughter might like you know correct it so she says god dumped me so now there there is this concept of feel felt found okay which you use in coaching typically so whenever somebody comes up to you and uh, tries to tell you uh some issue instead of trying to immediately judge them it's always better to feel what they they are feeling so that's what she is trying to do it so no wonder you're so upset as what the mom says the daughter says i should have seen it coming he was always flirting with other girls you you see the different uh, replies by the daughter based on the statement that the mom makes okay and then immediately she says you know i think that 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 is a little hurting right and then the daughter opens up very freely talking about her feelings yeah i did but i kept telling myself i was the one he really liked so you wanted so much to believe it that's what the mom says and she says yeah but it wasn't true anyway he is not the kind of person i wanted a boyfriend so if you look at this kind of conversation so what w- what are these two things right they are nothing but comparison of the parents behavior okay one is the actual one the usual one which we always do and the other one is what is expected well the reason why i brought this dialogue here is for us to know like you know what is exactly we do as as a, uh, a regular parent and what we are expected to do for teenagers is a little different and this book actually uh, tries to build that gap it tries to answer the parents apprehensions that they the typical apprehensions that they have of why do i feel as if i all have suddenly become unfamiliar with my teenager what is exactly going on in my child's mind why has my teenager suddenly stopped sharing things with me why do our children feel that we are imposing our decisions on to them why is my child always moody angry aggressive so so and so forth so there are so many apprehensions that we see suddenly when it comes to our teenager when when our kids start entering into our teenage so this is what this particular book addresses so i think the initial portion uh, anil has already mentioned okay and uh, 
as an author or as a parent i feel that you know parenting teenagers does not have a rule book in fact not only teenagers parenting itself does not have a rule book and that is what uh, was told in the introduction also with a lovely story right one size fits all there is no such rule book for parenting so what is the book all about so parenting pie is about looking at parenting as a recipe okay the pie here says that you know uh, it's a recipe which you can learn master and customize based on your teenager at home and the environment around so this gets easy when you understand and appreciate the teenager side of the story the book focuses on tips and tricks acquired from several discussions surveys and workshops done with both parents and the teenagers so i'm just trying to see if i can make um, the participants and as well as the presentation side by side i think there should be a view option right you need to take it as a side by uh, side there, gallery there should be a video sorry side by side gallery you need to opt it out gallery view you need to apply yeah. it on the right hand side top you will see the view okay if you take side by side gallery if you opt it you will get it in that way this is single this is speaker view this is gallery view the presentation is coming only half let me see and this is totally okay I think the third option, side by side gallery view. Okay, this is the one. Yeah, I we can see you, but I don't know whether you can. Oh, see. Oh no, I. Yeah, yeah, I'm able to see only a few, but still okay. At least I know that I'm speaking to people and <laughs> not just doing a presentation. Okay, so. Otherwise, some other person need to share. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. I think this is okay with me. A few people are okay with it. okay so what are the impact important characteristics of facets of the book is what uh, i wanted to tell about so what 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 are the things that this book is covering first of all i'm talking about the problem because ev everything starts with a problem right um, this necessity is the mother of invention so there is a necessity so what is that necessity that is the problem okay and then uh, i'm talking here about the new attitude of teenagers why they are so different from the normal children and why it is so difficult for them now in this current generation okay so with uh, continuing further it's the teens world uncovered i'm talking about the physical transition what is it with their brain now if you see um, they say that uh, toddlers are uh, the uh, children that particular age who are super and hyperactive yeah after toddler the next stage where the brain rapidly develops there's so much of changes in the thought process body physically emotional is the teenage okay that is something which we all need to acknowledge and appreciate that otherwise what happens is we we think that you know the child that i interacted with a few years ago is the same child who is grown up now it's only it's it, it's only a number of years that has got added and why is he trying why he or she is trying to behave that way but when we consciously know that you know this is the we all know that you know toddlers yeah is it a toddler yeah i know it's difficult to deal with toddlers at the same time we should also acknowledge that you know the teenage is a phase of the children where there's so much that is happening with them themselves and they, they are still trying to figure out you know they they are trying to be adults they are still trying to be childish trying to be adults and there's so much of uh, confusion that is happening in their minds in their body they don't know whom to question there's so much of validity they are looking for from outside you know social implications they they need validations whatever they're wearing how they are behaving you know uh, with their uh, physique and especially for the boys and girls like you know uh, why am i uh, this thin or why am i putting on weight or you know do i look beautiful all these kind of things are something which we need to really understand that they are going through the next one uh, that i have spoken about are some quick tips like you know do's versus don't things that you should ideally do most of the times we we don't know this uh, differentiation we tend to behave the way we behaved 
earlier so there are some certain don'ts you know it's 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 kind of a very subtle differentiation you know the borderline which we sometimes cross unconsciously so if we get conscious about this do's and don'ts it becomes easier for us so uh, these are some some kind of quick tips uh, that i have uh, mentioned there and the next most important thing that i have covered in, in the book is about the parenting why to visualize it as a recipe i feel that it's not a science or you know an art which will uh, be which can be like you know mastered through a book or you do a course and you're done with it instead it, it is kind of a recipe the reason why i mentioned it as a recipe is uh, we all know at home right we, how our children like certain things it could be a pizza or it could be uh, any homemade recipe and we also make sure that it satisfies their taste buds and it also satisfies our taste buds you know maybe at home uh, some people don't like eating too much of spices it has to be bland or you know there should be some toppings only then my kid will eat it or you know the, you you are a specialist who cooks such recipes be it a mother or a father they know how, what their child wants when it comes to eating you pamper them during the uh for, like you know during the lunch dinner make something special for them or whatever it is so according to me parenting also has to be that way you know there should be and why a pie okay uh when i started looking for uh, what kind of book i should be writing i i found thousands of books thousands of books which told like you know 10 ways of correct parenting insightful parenting transformational parenting and then i was just thinking what is it that i have gone through what is it that i did then i felt that you know i think i just modified the recipe of my parenting and that's it and uh, and my daughter helped me write this book so if that is what is required why why shouldn't it be a recipe altogether and why a pie it's just a bakery item right with a thick crust and uh, the soft uh, fillings on top or inside and then the toppings okay and according to me there are certain ingredients for the crust which are really really mandatory as part of parenting and then for filling you need to either uh, make sure uh, you add all of them or part of them or you know and change the quantity how much it is required and definitely you need to add those toppings maybe a uh, you know once in a month shopping window shopping or uh, inviting the kids uh, friends over at home or you know it could be anything based on your teenager your comfort level and your family because some people here in india are part of joint families right so those toppings or ing- ingredients for filling are already part of you know the grandparents uh, being uh, taken uh, like you know taking care of certain things already so it, it all de- the parenting ideally should depend on the kid uh, you and your family atmosphere according to me. so that is what is all about the parenting that i'm talking and um, of course uh, towards the end you need to come up with a customized recipe for your teenager so i i give that exercise to the parent who is reading that book and they can fill in and then start using it okay so these are the important uh, I, i don't call it chapters uh, i don't like calling it chapters i didn't number the chapters also that way so i i call it facets or scenarios in the book okay so here i would just uh, like to read uh, this poem that i thought will make us understand why this uh, parenting teenage is very important so this is kind of a diary entry of a teenager so i'll just read out i i just have a few lines uh, the, um, it, it's a complete poem kind of thing in the book so i'll just read it out loud so dear mom dad gone are the gone are those days of giggle and wiggle these are the days of surprises and struggle i am no more a kid this is what you asked me to learn but alas you always forget you treat me like one i am going to be an adult we'll have to take charge is what i believe 
each time I try to become one, I'm crossing my limits is what you feel. Okay. Uh, you are my strength. I know I can rely on you. It is my new intellect which says it is not always true. In conflicts at home, you expect me to be more adjusting. But what to do? I yearn to make it more challenging. I want to fly high, fall down, soar back and learn. Even if I know my feathers are going to burn. I have no control as the fascinating world attracts me. I want their validation and I'm eager to know what they think of me. Deep down my heart, I know you're always there. Whatever is the situation may be, you will really care. Sometimes I mess up, but please continue watering trust. I might be asking for more, but kindly adjust. When you look at me, you try to find yourself. All I want to find in the mirror is an identity for myself, your teenager. So this is one poem that I had written. Uh, I, I was just thinking, I, I didn't know. I had a writer in me when I was writing this book, frankly. But so if you look at it, right, these, these are the thoughts that are going on in teenagers' mind. And sometimes we try to forget that we were teens once upon a time. It was not so difficult for us because uh, as uh, it was mentioned, like, you know, we were part of a different kind of a generation, a difficulty. So teens just passed, teenage years just passed by our lives. But, but for kids, there are so many things that are going on currently in the current generation. So what are the ingredients for crust that I was talking about, which are really, really very, very important and have to be part of every parenting. Every parent has to make sure these ingredients have to be there. First is the trust or confidence. Most of the times this breaks because of some incident that might have happened in the past, maybe in the childhood or maybe recently. But just remember, you know, you need to just let go of anything that has happened in the past and continue trusting or showing the confidence. For every ingredient that I'm talking, in the book, I have given an, either an incident or a dialogue series so that it becomes easier to understand why this ingredient is very important. So in front of every chapter of every ingredient, there is a conversation or a dialogue series or there is an incident that shows the importance of this particular ingredient. Secondly is family values. The roots that we were talking about, you know, those family values that we, we ourselves follow because kids are not listening to us, they are watching us. And if we do not have family values within ourselves, our family does not show those values when we are in our day-to-day -day life then those values are not going to be with the kids. No matter, you make them mug it up every day, give a list and say, okay, these are the things you should follow. No. Practice before you preach and follow your values. Display your values in every small behavior at home. And that is what is going to get passed on. That is what, at least for, for example, like, you know, I have seen my grandparents you know, the same is being followed by my parents and I'm following. So this, they never told me to be the way they, uh, I mean, I'm supposed to be. Instead, I watched them and learned. So the same things pass on for generations together. So if the values are strong, just remember, even if the teenage years are going to be a little of tremble, it's going to be all right soon if the values are very, very strong. Okay, and the third thing definitely is discipline. Okay, most of the times, most of the times we think that, you know, we need to be really good friends with our uh, teenage children. Like, you know, if I'm working, both of, both of us working, we are not able to spend some time on the kids. We try to compensate through gifts. We try to compensate through breaking of rules at home. There are certain times when we need, really need to behave like a parent. 
okay so discipline is one of the important crust and the these are the main ingredients for crust and then i'm talking about the ingredients for filling i'll just read through them uh, i'm sure you all understand what they all mean first is unconditional love the most 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 important your love should not be based on any condition then empathy patience dedication transparency something which is really required especially for teenage children if you are not transparent enough they are not transparent to you there is a block in the communication channel and it becomes bigger and bigger then appreciation small small wins have to be appreciated communication communication has to be definitely be there irrespective of whatever happened yesterday night the doors were banged the doors closed and no eating food big mess at home a scene in front of relatives forget it early morning sunrise immediately start communicating and this you should do among your spouses as well otherwise it passes on to them open mind if they suddenly talk about something which you haven't heard and you feel really bad like you know my daughter is saying something like that how can she talk like that as as a different kind of traditional family no just listen if you immediately try to judge them and try to stop them the communication channel gets closed encourage encourage them to do something new understand their feelings be friends when you have to be friends there will be some situations where you have to be there to friends and enough. understand okay and empower them you know this is the age when you can really change the way they think you you need to give them good good ideas to empower them as much as possible and this will real this stage and age will really help them achieve what they real what they want in the future inspire them do not instruct them instead inspire them do something different and humor humor has to be a part of it most of the situations get really like you know at the dining table some conversation comes up just crack a joke and let it like you know let let that anger everything gets dissolved and just do things playfully try to be as creative as possible don't you do that at your work right so you you if you are a good manager at work why don't you do the same thing at home too right so the summary is like you know a child is just a, like a seedling <laughs> lucky for me the introduction was also same way with tiny leaves about the earth peeping out into the air okay let me just minimize this for the first time it's very easy for that seedling to get crushed into the ground by harsh words or making judgments that leaves it bruised and battered and unable to rise again so you have to care for it protect and nurture it until it becomes really really stronger then when the wind and the rain hits it hard it will learn to bend but it will not be crushed it will even become stronger as it resists the push of the weather but still it will be vulnerable you need to care for your teenager as you would for any fragile new life our children are a gift to the future they are the future of this world right what they experience at our homes today will empower them to bring to the world they inherit the ways that affirm the dignity and humanity of all the people so thank you for joining me in this journey through my mindset you must be heaving a sigh of relief after understanding that you're not alone yeah and now that you're more equipped with handling the situations that happen at home every day do make an effort to practice bits and pieces of the parenting recipe until you master it with your teenagers so that's it from my side and thank you uh, so much uh, prabhin singh uh, that was a more of like a heart to heart talk for me rather than you know kind of a training or kind of a book uh, introduction you know one thing really liked in it like you know inspire your kids instead of instruct them have a fun element at home don't be judgmental and have a transparent relation wherein kids can come and share their emotions and feelings so amazing amazing uh, review uh, prabhin singh we really loved it and it's a must read book for everyone uh, uh, i would like to have a parent here i guess most of them uh, here are parents 
So can we have a parent to share their uh, views on this particular introduction, please? I would like to voluntarily call the people. I mean, voluntarily come people. I would like to have. Can you please raise your hand? Uh, okay, is that Swami Sajji? Can I? Uh, who is that? Okay, after Swami Sajji, sir, I heard a can I as well. Okay, Swami Sajji, sir, quickly because okay. we are five forty-eight at Dubai time. Oh. Quickly means anyway. Thank you. Uh, this is amazing, and there is a, not only a book writer, there is a poet also in uh, Pravin Singh. And that uh, poetry, what you have lifted, uh, really conveys and communicates. I think uh, you being a Pravin Singh, and uh, you talked about a rich joint family, things were little more smoother and better. I have a problem. Even my the teenager has become adult. They behave like uh, sometimes worse than teenager. They <laughs> want to say something and they don't say. And we also expect to create the situation. So we uh, do not know because uh, teaching and all helps. But as you said, some of the family tradition, some of the one Malik family in Delhi, every day they have a system of you know they'd be uh, doing a massage to their mother. And a child will be doing a massage to the to them. That child will be doing to them, and this old man will be doing to his uh, grand great grandfather. So the chain of around four or five people are doing continuously. There's a not one day a rich, regular uh, rituals. We ask better age, kya ho gaya, office mein kya tha. There's a time for them. Then uh, fruit sitting, there's a session for them. So like that, there are so many things which you are narrating. It is a very challenging thing. I think you had a very successful uh, parenting. Uh, no, it was not. For me, it was a challenging, and that's why the book has come. So I thought it was so easy because whatever you said, right? That is how I have grown up, like you know, with so many aunts, uncles, cousins, and all. But now we are independent families. It's so totally different. No, actually, and... one line I have to say: value the values than the valuables. if uh, that message goes into the children from the younger days onwards and since you said you are a girl the complexities are larger very larger <laughs> very how so much thank sir. you so thank much, you so yeah. much. Uh, uh, that was really an insightful yes so we regularly attend many sessions like you know how to increase your sales how you can be a better manager better entrepreneur but this is something that we truly need actually you know the better parenting in order to yes actually actually you are not really audible okay i guess i need to keep uh, uh, what i said is like you know we undergo a lot of trainings on a day to day basis how to increase a sale how to be a better leader how to be a better manager how to be a better entrepreneur but this is something which we truly need like you know to have an understanding like you know how to be a good parent anyway thanks a lot for that pravin singh with this i would like to move on to archana please yeah thank you so much uh yeah this is my uh, first uh, i mean i'm attending this for the first time over here and i can i must say that this is really amazing i have learned lot of today uh i have a kid who is 4 uh, years old and i just want to share one incident uh last week we went on, uh, went on a vacation and uh, one of my friends like we were two families together and their daughter is uh, elder than my son and she was uh, she was like a bit of shy very introvert not uh, you know she doesn't mix with you know get along with other children and all that stuff and my kid was uh, actually inspiring her motivating her to come along and play and her uh, the mother was actually uh, trying to say many a time that she doesn't listen to me and we often hear this uh, you know since our childhood that uh, children only listen when they are small if they listen now they won't listen when they grow up so you should uh, always tell them that yes this is this and this is this has to be this way so uh, can i know your perspective on that how to uh, you know lay the foundation because we often hear we have to be friends with our children and uh, all that stuff but in practice it's really difficult right definitely as, as long yeah. as uh, uh, yeah See, as long as they are growing up 
and uh, they are sharing everything but in teenage uh, it's it's really difficult like, for mother like me who is going to be a mother to a teenager would really have a great insights if you could share that definitely achana thanks so much um, see the most important thing what i have seen in lot of parents is uh, they do not accept that you know parenting is something that need, they need to learn from others you know we always say that you know we have been parents for so many years and what i mean what what is it that you are going to teach uh, yeah and the, the first thing uh, which i really appreciate uh, achana is that you know you are really willing to learn something new from others and you are accepting that you know there there might be a problem in yes. fact i went searching for that and that's the reason why i'm an author now <laughs> i went looking for you know parenting seminars and then i realized okay i need to share my journey share a lot of things that i learned through my service so arshana first thing uh, this concept of you know you need to be pair uh, like you know friends with uh, kids does not work always you know hear them out as a friend and decide based on the situation as a parent because in teenage you know it's it's not about just playing in the playground or something there there, there could be some really crucial decisions of whom they are mingling with mm-hmm. yeah and uh, maybe uh, you know they they do not have a good, very good so, uh, circle which is really uh, scary sometimes you know but at the same time you should not talk as a parent you need to first hear them out try to empathize try to feel and try to talk to them like a parent but finally when you are giving you need to tell them what are the pros and cons of every situation say they are they like to go out for parties with friends you need to tell them the pros and cons you need you shouldn't say that you know do this don't do this say Correct. and everything that you want to convey to them it's not necessary you always tell them in points wise you can just narrate an incident where something wrong happened with someone you know it's storytelling is the best way to parenting let me tell you that Absolutely. storytelling it it need not be situational you can start sharing stories whenever you can with your kids and they know what the moral is yeah that is how you need to build it but definitely there will be some situations where you need to decide as a parent and be very strict with it and you you give them the option if this is what is going to happen then this this is what you are going to you know uh, bear and if this is what happens so they are kind of already warned on those cases and they don't they never feel that you the pain of uh, you know following what you are saying because it is not an instruction now right instead it is an option you are giving them multiple options you do this you know this this could be the result see i am giving you an example yeah so that is how you should do archana stage by stage tell them lot of stories let them understand the morals out of it be a parent sometimes be a friend sometimes Fantastic. don't be anything sometimes just keep quiet sometimes you know <laughs> sometimes Fantastic. that is silence is the best thing yeah that was quite well explained sir we uh, yeah, thank you so much so we have sakshi here who has been waiting in line for quite some time sakshi over to thank you, you. yeah uh, good evening everyone uh, i would also say that this is the first bookery show which i am attending and i loved it uh, i'm sorry i can't start my video i'm at no, my no, no surrounded by people and all is that okay <laughs> no problem all? yeah am i audible am i audible yes enough? yes very much sakshi yeah so what i'm trying to say is It just that the topic teenage parenting attracted me to attend i'm actually at my workplace i've just sneaked down for a while because i wanted to have a look at what it is all about but coming okay. men i'll tell i completely relate it's like i am watching my own life incident <laughs> happening day in and day out yes i'll tell you i have a teenage daughter who is 17 years old and day in day out we have this kind of conflicts and all and whatever you were saying i could very well like you know resonate very well um um uh, uh, i can see it happening in my life very well understand ki what is it like you know but now what happens is like um okay 
I also have a child psychology background. I have uh, authored book yet to be published on child parenting. So I also have to tell you that my daughter as a child was a perfect child. We had perfect relationship and she could understand what I meant and I could understand what her feelings were. I don't know, suddenly when she entered into teenage, the whole equation. <laughs> so I, I'm like, you know, I'm surprised. Is she the same child? Wow, why is she behaving so differently? And she also comes sometimes asks me that what happened, Mama? Why are you overreacting or whatever? So now what my query is mm -hmm. that I when I try to help her out, um, go in, uh, like, you know, support her out, she feels I'm interfering. And when I back off a little, she feels that I am uncaring or like, you know, not available. So I, I really wonder how to strike a balance because all my knowledge, all my experience as a parent of a child. Mm -hmm. Sakshi, you there? Yeah. Sakshi, Sakshi, can you Sakshi. can you please Sakshi. ask you a question? Uh, there was a question that you wanted to ask, right? I guess we lost uh, Sakshi there. Anyhow. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. I'm here. Yeah, please, ma'am. Um, in fact, I, I'm still trying to balance. Each and every day is not <laughs> is new for me, even now. Let me tell you that. Because my daughter is still in the hall listening to what I'm talking. <laughs> yeah but the only difference now is she has helped she she helps me set up my uh, interviews uh, you know we fight I, I i mean we still fight the only thing uh, difference uh, here which uh, you see is every minute every second every incident is going to be different there is nothing like you know okay just because i have written a book uh, you know, uh, and uh, I'm an author, I'm a parenting coach, doesn't make me a perfect mom still, you know, and I'm still learning. And maybe I'll have a version two of it after as an author, <laughs> you know, so yes, definitely. Um, sometimes you, they feel you're interfering. Sometimes they feel you're not available. Based on the situation, try to decide. What I did yesterday will not work today. Okay, that never works. It's not only with uh, teenagers, it never works with my kids also. In fact, my son uh, laughs and says, you tell so much in the interview, mama, and when I say something, you'll immediately react. So that was a learning for me that, you know, what I sometimes tell on the call is something which I'm not following with him. But now if you look at it, right, maybe if I, if I would have been the same uh, perfectionist mom, with him uh, as earlier he would have never been freely opening up to me and giving that comment to me right now he is watch he watches my videos he's not there now but he makes sure he watches it with his grandma he sits and watches and he says you know you know mom just before the interview you know me and mom fought so much and now there she's going and smiling in the interview but okay. everything is a learning you know so and yeah. I, I i laugh it out and that's, that's the reason why he comes and shares it with me. The most, most, most important thing for any child and parent is communication. Some kids love to show them in tantrums. Some kids love to write it down and give it as a letter. You know, so never judge the behavior, the outer behavior. There could be so much that is going on inside. And definitely you suddenly feel the change. Definitely. And, that, and you need to read my book. To understand what I went through, there thank is you, my story so there. Much, uh, Praveen, uh, sorry, <laughs> yeah. uh, may I interrupt over here? Now, no, 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 definitely, it's already late. <laughs> zero two. Yeah, our second speaker is in the line. Anyway, it yes, was really yes, insightful. Yes, sure. uh, you know, what I could relate this one with a lot of a corporate quotes, like you know, your yesterday's solution would not be a pro solution for today's problem. So you need to have a different solution for today. And with <laughs> Archana, um, from a sales background, we have a fundamental rule over there, which is called a pack parent, adult, and child. When you go to a customer, you need to identify what sort of customer it is based on which you need to wear the cap, whether you need to wear a cap of a parent or yeah. an adult or a child. 
sometimes if your customer speaks like a parent you need to go and wear the hat of a child the same <laughs> vice versa anyhow fantastic uh, with this i would like to move on to our second speaker ankit uh, ankit uh, is not a guest over here he is one of our active volunteer he is one of the core member of our family of brain city so for this i would like to welcome anil thomas to introduce ankit thank you nia so uh, uh, nia before we move on to ankit uh, can you please call uh, uh, zena for two minutes sure 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 uh, she being a teenager i want her to come as well hi zena are you there you zena. wanted to speak yeah she is i sent there. her yeah us to unmute i believe she is not there she's there still i sent her prompt to unmute herself and so can we hold it uh, until we finish uh, ankit's okay. uh, session right and we okay. shall come back and we shall do a, you know combined uh, i, I think i think she's leaving all right it's all right okay all right then. Okay. great so there's a question about the book maybe just i'll just tell it's yeah. available on amazon uh, both the kindle version and the hard copy Thanks. That was great, Praveen. Thank you so much. Enjoyed the book. Sure shot reader it is. And yeah, the poem was the best part where you have very displayed the uh, identity crisis of that teenage teenager. It was quite well captured. Thank you so very much. Uh, so now we move on. Welcome to Ankit. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Sudhata. Oh, innovation is a key mandate at companies worldwide. But in tough times, times like COVID days, like that we are in today, we can rely on all formula that has sustained innovation efforts for decades. Uh, expensive research and development projects and highly structured innovation processes. The word jugad, that's a book you uh, Ankit is going to review today. Jugad, jugad innovation argues that West must look to places like India, Brazil, and China as the emerging market, basically. Uh, this is why uh, Ankit is on our platform today. Uh, let me introduce Ankit. Ankit, uh, a great conversationalist, NGO founder, speaker, a good friend, well-wisher. Above all, he's simple, humble, able, and noble, and the chief manager of a corporate bank in Bombay. Welcome, Ankit. Thank you. Thank you, Anil, for the kind introduction. Uh, Friends, friends, I've invited few people over here. I, I uh, really appreciate for you all uh, joining in today. So thank you so much for accepting the invitation and joining. Uh, Anil has already said the background. So basically, in in tough times is where you need things which are to be done differently, and this is what the book speaks about. So I'll straight away jump into the book Jugard. It all of us feel that Jugard is basically a colloquial word and probably has its roots in India. So, just as an update, uh, in October 2017, Oxford has officially uh, updated its dictionary and added the word "jugard" in it. So, it's 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 there in the English language. It's it's close uh, uh, cousin to innovation, where innovation is more of a structured approach, where jugard is basically uh, an unstructured approach, uh, whereby you end up getting the same result, uh, what what you actually want to. Uh, I'll just uh, share my screen. Uh, one second so can you share my screen uh, see the screen right now yes thank you yes we can okay. see uh, your screen oh. Friends, uh, uh, I'll I'll have to be uh, an interactive session. So, uh, if you all could just see the images over here, there are some five images over here. What do you think you make out of these? If somebody could just type in, or probably uh, uh, the life hacks. Answer. Okay. Anybody else? Cool. So each of them uh, are basically speaking about you know some doing something differently for a solution that is required. If you look at the uh, the one who is running a bike and having the two ladies sitting on the behind, obviously the bike is not made for uh, 
three people, right? But he he found a plank and used it as a three seater. Uh, if you look at the the pictures down below, somebody has used it just a normal glass bottle and the solar uh, uh, free available uh, uh, light from the sun and used that for as a reflector and has light in the room. So these are basically innovations in a way, but in an unstructured way where things have been required to be done, and that is why they are done. So here I come to my book, Jugad. This this book is written basically by uh, uh, it's it's authored by three people uh, Ravi Jaydeep and Simon. Ravi is basically uh, somebody who's based out based out of the Silicon Valley. Uh, Jaydeep is a professor at uh, JNU in India, and Simon is a regular uh, blogger for uh, Harvard. It's a Harvard Business Review. So these are the people uh, who contributed to this book, and it has uh, uh, it has a forward by. Uh, Sam Petruda, who's who's basically uh, an innovator and uh, uh, the founder for the telecom in innovation and uh, uh, the industry in India. So, so that's that's basically about the book, uh, uh, the authors, and this. Now, this word itself, Jugad, has uh, uh, roots in India. However, there are colloquial terms that are used across uh, the globe. You would have the Chinese say it as Sizu uh, Kuangxing. You would have the Kenyan uh, uh, people say it as Jua Kali. You also have uh, uh, people from France uh, use the word Sistema D, and from Brazil using as uh, Jetin Ho. So basically, this this word has its roots across the globe. It is it is not something only to do with uh, uh, India per se. Innovation was more of a Western concept, which was uh, uh, always there for ages. It got uh, uh, adapted to the local version, and then probably Jugad is the uh, innovation. The word itself has got innovated in such a way that uh, it is replacing innovation itself. So this book, principally, I uh, uh, I'll take probably ten minutes on the book, and uh, then we can open up for question answer. Uh, so unlike the previous speaker, who is an author uh, author itself herself. Uh, she had lots to add. Uh, I would rather not go much in the book uh, and leave it up to your uh, good judgment to read the book and uh, deep dive, uh, doing justice to the author. Uh, this book is basically speaking about a jugad in all sense. It 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 uh, it has uh, multiple chapters, wherein which speaks about few things which actually lead to innovation. I'll I'll just do an attempt to inspire you to take up the book. There are some. Uh, six chapters in this book. These six chapters dwell uh, in each of the realms of uh, Jugad. The first one being seek opportunity in adversity. The second one says do more with less. The third one says think and act flexibly. The fourth one says keep it simple. The fifth one says include your margins. And fifth and the last one, the sixth one says follow your heart. Each of these principles has been made a chapter, and each chapter uh, includes innovations or jugad or you know uh, companies who've, who've adopted these principles and moved forward, and how it has helped them. Just to give you a glimpse of uh, you know how each chapter would look like, I would just touch base upon the first chapter, which which says seek opportunity in adversity. So here they have narrated uh, a, a story. Uh, of uh, a Mexican uh, individual, Enrique uh, Gomez Junco. Now, Mr. Junco uh, was an engineer. He he was a uh, he was a very good engineer, and he was uh, obsessed with his engineering uh, capabilities. So, what he did was he he made uh, since he was so uh, he wanted to save more of energy around, and that is what is drove him. And driving his passion, he made started making solar uh, thermo solar panels. Now this was back in 1988. He started sell, you know, going to companies and offering them these energy solutions. That oh, I have made this uh, uh, thermo solar panel. Why don't you take it? And uh, it would start uh, energy savings for you. But all the companies that he approached at that point in time were not really keen to invest in 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 the solution because it had uh, it required uh, uh, capital upfront. And the repayments would happen over a period of time, so companies did not really vouch for it. So Junko went back to the drawing board, thought about it, that okay, this is what I can offer. 
However, there, is there a need? Yes, there is a need. Energy saving is the need of the hour and people would appreciate it. How do I deliver my solution to these guys? So finally, he came up with an idea. After 12 years trying different things, in 2000, he launched a company uh, which is called uh, Optima Energia. Optima Energia basically is, is a, a leasing solution. What they do is they lease these equipments to the company, enter into a contract that, okay, for the five, next five years, whatever energy savings that happen, only in the energy savings, you will part some money to me. Otherwise, there would be no capital investment up front. This became a win-win solution. And today, Mr. Junko is looking at energy savings of about 35,000 crore rupees in a period of five years. What happened over here? From drawing board to having a market uh, ability to create a market of 35,000 crores. The drive of innovation or the drive of Jugard is what worked over here. He actually made his dream, his passion into his work, which, which made him uh, pay for uh, what he wanted to and also bring benefits to the society of saving energy. The next slide that I'm going to show you is an Indian version. This is Mitti Cool. This is basically somewhere uh, 400 kilometers away from Ahmedabad. I've purposely put Ahmedabad as probably you will be able to search this uh, much faster on Google. So this, this place uh, is 400 kilometers away from Ahmedabad where uh, clay, uh, you know, refrigeration is done out of clay. So people, the, the author himself have visited uh, the manufacturer. They went there uh, in scorching heat of Gujarat. Uh, you would know if people are familiar, the temperatures rise almost up to 45 to 50 degrees. They went there, there was no electricity and they were searching for uh, a cool glass of water, uh, the bare minimum that you would ask for. Once they reached there, they couldn't find any electricity. They were surprised that, okay, uh, where are you going to really find some water also, which will be you know, quenching our thirst because they had heard about the product. So they approached this guy and uh, uh, a simple uh, guy who, who comes to there and tells them that, okay, you know, you can uh, come inside the workshop. Inside the workshop, he uh, takes glasses of water and starts uh, telling them to, you know, you can help yourself with this uh, uh, faucet uh, from here from the medical refrigerator and you start can drink water. You wouldn't believe the first uh, uh, glass of water uh, which, which they took and they found that it was really refreshing and cool. And they were trying to look all around the fridge. Where is the electricity coming from? There are no wires attached. Is that, is that a battery or how is it working? Finally, he could, you know, he explained to them the mechanism that works inside out. It was uh, basically upon uh, the convention of, you know, flowing water, cool water would run uh, higher and hot water would run lower. He has a complete uh, maze built out inside the uh, box and basis which the water keeps running up and down and it cools itself on its way because of the clay uh, within which it is stored. So it was a simple idea. This simple idea, this fridge would cost about uh, three, three and a half K uh, and, and it became uh, an overnight uh, attraction. People wanted to buy it, some in the name of fashion, some in the name of uh, uh, saving electricity. But for some, it really became a lifesaver because uh, not everybody could afford a normal fridge and they could really use this uh, and it, it did not cost anything. There was no maintenance cost at all. Jugard is basically this. This is this is the entire crux of the book that I've given to you. This, this book will throw you different ideas and different ways to look at things. Uh, it, it speaks about companies from the likes of uh, 3M uh, in, in US to you know, TCS in India, uh, to a Kaohsiung in, in, in China, to a Kodak in, uh, from Japan also. So it, it has given a global perspective with a local view and given the importance of uh, uh, why something like this uh, should be looked at. Uh, just to relate it to our personal lives, if you, if you look at it, what we are doing right now is nothing short of a jugad. Uh, who would have believed that you know uh, uh, the founders of uh, Brain City would be uh, there, and who and we would be having an e-bookery show where would be where people from across the globe would be joining, speakers from across the globe globe would be coming and uh, speaking about a book uh, on an online platform and exchanging views. So what we are doing is also nothing really short of a jugad, uh, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, so thank you so much.
Hi, Ankit. Thank you so much. Uh, it was uh, fantastic uh, to hear more about the Jugal. Uh, we have seen uh, this type of life hacks uh, many times. Uh, I mean, a very unstructured way, but at the end of the day, it uh, serves the purpose. The action and, uh, justifies the, you know, the means. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, can we have a Vinay uh, Kanchan, Vinay sir, to uh, share a few, you know, thoughts of him on this? On a Jugal. So, firstly, hi, am I audible? Yes, sir, you're audible, but there is an echo in your voice. There's an echo. Maybe I'm talking like the voice of God or something. Let me try and fix the echo. Now it's fine. Now it's fine. When you That's come fine. more closer to it, it's fine. Okay. So, firstly, it's it's fantastic to be back uh, at Edukri. I have always enjoyed being here. Uh, what really struck me about my compliments to uh, Ankit for, uh, for, for covering Jugad Innovation, which I think is a really interesting book in today's time. I think it's a highly recommended book to read, no matter what profession you're in, no matter what subject you might be pursuing. Because it's not just about the products which they talk about there, it is about the mindset. And in fact, when I saw your poster for this time session, it struck me as a as a commonality. So even the first presentation, which was uh, an excellent one by Praveena uh, on the parenting pie, uh, she's also essentially, you know, in parenting when it comes to teenagers, was all about Jugad innovation <laughs> in its most fundamental form. Because parents are also struggling with solutions when it comes to handling uh, teenage children. And they have to make do with uh, a wisdom cobbled from various places. To me, Jugad is essentially about the art of cobbling things together from varied sources uh, and with great preference on the locality of the source, a resource which is easily available. And in many ways, I think India is probably the heartbeat when it comes to all sorts of Jugad. Because we have this uh, mindset in our culture, which is all about uh, a frugality. Uh, it's probably the few cultures where you have recycling items. You know, kabadi wala ka idhari hi relevance. Right? Yes. Uh, sorry, uh, there are some voices. I'm hearing some. Uh, yeah, sorry. So uh, it is a tremendous mindset, I think, which is very unique to the subcontinental culture in many ways. And uh, I think going forward, it's an extremely important book to read, uh, Jugad Innovation. So I would compliment uh, Ankit for bringing this book up in this forum, no matter what you're doing. And also, the first, just wanted to make a comment on the first book. Uh, I love the cover. Uh, I love the title as well. And uh, I know she said she was the first attempt at writing, but if you can write poetry, you can write. Okay, I think that's one of the, the great uh, little tricks in the writing business because just to capture data and you know reproduce it faithfully is not writing skill. But the ability to play with words in a way that rhymes and makes sense still is writing ability. And I think that so much, is Vinay. Thank you. my pleasure. And I would say that, uh, you know, I would say you have... You're sitting on the crux of a series. Uh, I'm sure you have thought of that, that you, you might have more than uh, one, uh, one book in this series. What's interesting, the commonality between the two books is your, your uh, important, the whole points you're making lies on the intersections of the two circles of the Venn diagram. Like all Jugad innovation actually lies at the intersection of things, intersection of two domains. Okay. Uh, likewise, parenting for teenagers, if I had a circle which is childhood and if I had a circle which is adulthood, teenage is the intersection of those two circles. And that's why all these intersection points in any domain are extremely interesting. And how we kind of cope with them and learn to use the tricks of the trades to get better in terms of handling these situations is where I think all happiness lies. So that's what I wanted to say. Fantastic, Thank you Vinesha. So much, that, was... that was a... sorry, Niaz. No problem. That was really icing on the cake. <laughs> icing on the jugad. How he has connected the two books, a streak of commonality. And you know that parenting is also an ever-evolving full-time job. 
And even Jugandas with limited resources, we are trying to innovate, finding solution to tackle the problems. So yes, rightfully, as you said, there is a kind of commonality in both these. Yeah, so fantastic. How you have connected the two books is really an eye opener. I would like to have yeah, thanks, thanks for that. Uh, just to add to what you're saying was, you know, I purposely didn't delve deeper in these chapters, but exactly what is written in the book uh, uh, speaks about the same. You know, how can you do more with less, or you know, how can you act, think, and act flexibly? Because extreme situations are where you know you need to really decide how you're going to move forward and right. uh, uh, the correct step. And probably that also on a longer run, companies like G, companies like IBM, who been there for you know centuries together now, right. have an innovation lab in build, and these innovation labs continuously focus on doing something which is out of the box, not available in the market. Apple, for example, Apple as a company, the innovation that they are able to bring to the table, you know, uh, to the consumer. That's that's an example of you know how uh, you can keep evolving, uh, bring products which are not there. Or let's say take Tesla. Today, Tesla is really creating a, a, a huge interest in the EV space across the globe. So, so this is where the larger companies are going through. But the Indian mindset, yes, uh, uh, it's it's basically a part of a culture. Uh, uh, if you look, just do Jugad and look at the <laughs> images that are available, you will understand the way people use different things for different purposes, which are not really thought about when they are making, you know, bed. And I am being uh, used to eating something a pizza. I mean, you would not imagine you would use that, right? But then people do that. So that mindset is there. Uh, uh, thanks for highlighting it. There's one point I wanted to make, which linked both your presentations. It's, and it's the story of Lord Rama when he was young and he wanted the moon. So what does Kaushalya do? She, she takes up a, a, a plate of water and shows him the reflection of the moon in that plate. That is Jugad innovation. That is Jugad yeah. innovation, you know, millions of years old. Yeah, linked to parenting, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wonderful. Lovely, wonderful. lovely, Vinayji. Thank you so, so much. So, Jugar is all about seeking the opportunity in adversity, do more with less flexibility, simple, and marginalized in the community, paying a lot of attention to that. And what Hart says, that's what it follows. Amazing. Since uh, we are 625 now, we got another five more minutes. I just would like to go on a surface quickly. I can't miss out from other Venkata. Now, today we are powered with uh, many speakers, in fact. Author Venkat, quickly, would you like to share your uh, views on it? You need to unmute yourself, uh, Author Venkat. Ankit, it was a splendid review. Um, you know, everybody who does uh, innovation need not be a scientist. I think you have broken the myths by showing many of the examples. And thinking is the highest paid job. So by looking at these, uh, you know, uh, uh, avenues and examples, I think it provokes a lot of people to think and solve problems themselves rather than depending on someone else to solve. And in uh, an era and in a country where price rises is uh, very, very common, uh, such Jugad innovation is highly relevant. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, author Venkat. Sunita, please. Right. So from my perspective, from both books, it was really interesting to see how um, you know, the parenting perspective has its challenges. I will definitely say yes to that because being a parent is the most difficult job in the world. I would still say a corporate job is the easiest compared to a parenting job. And when we start thinking about Jugar, I start thinking that how do I make my son do this in a way that he will say yes without me putting my five cents into his ideas. So it's a jugar that I would rather say that our family members will also say, let me think of a jugar to tell them <laughs> so that they will do it on their own will. In the way, same way, when I read the book of jugar, I read it in such a way that being an author, being a writer, I had to write a book using some kind of formula to make sure that the reader understands it from a perspective that he's able to or she's able to um, apply it in her or his life so accordingly to me for both the books it's fantastically said that definitely i am going to read the parenting book for sure and jugar i am a big fan of it anyway because every time i do read the book i always find that there's something new that i've learned whether it be 
um, you know, a, a certain page or a certain chapter. And I'm like, huh, this can be thought of in this perspective, like how we can use it not only in our day to day personal life, but even in our professional life where we can change the perspective of looking at it in this particular way. Just taking, for example, the picture, the cover picture, the way Jugad had been written with the pipes and everything that look at the innovation of how the writer said, how should I make this word create an impact with yet such a simple idea? True. So you are very really right. nice. So thank you for both for giving me this, you know, an extreme learning. I'm really happy. Thanks so much, Sunita. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Is there someone else, Niaz, who has raised hands? Uh, actually, like can I have can I have a word? Sure, yeah, but please. Hello. Yeah, first of all, thank you, Ankit, and thank you, Praveen. Uh, right now, I'm having a question to ask to uh, Praveen. I have a couple of questions. If you if you are okay with dropping your mail ID in the chat box, that will be great. Right now, I'm going to ask you one question. So, uh, can can you just tell me some points that we have to compromise for our kids? As an individual, I have to, as a parent, I have to compromise something or I have to compromise uh, uh, some of my character, anything, is, if, it, if it is there, can you please guide me what all will be that? Sorry, I was on mute. So I think that, that's something which I was talking about, those do's and don'ts. Uh, and I would really want you to go through that. But the first and most, most important thing um, if, if for me, uh, is, uh, I mean, compromising on my ego as a parent. I mean, that's the first thing, I mean, which strikes to me because as a parent, I always feel I'm right. Okay. And, and that is something which you should always drop. And it's very, very difficult because you feel that, you know, you have so many years of experience in this world and your daughter or son is just so many years. But every perspective that they put across you will have to think in a different direction. You will have to understand from where it's coming. It could be some incident in the class or, you know, it could be some uh, incident which they have witnessed in the school or at home. And so that's Praveen, the, I believe that's the more reason, than a yeah. generalized one, we will have yeah. to go this one in the specific, right? We need to see how exactly the problem is for that. We exactly. need to have a jugad for it, I believe. <laughs> true, true. That's why I'm saying Please go through the list. I don't know in which scenario you're asking. What is it that needs to be dropped? Praveen, uh, you, got so, a, you got a hint from Vinaysa that, you know, it is a potential to have a series for this, like a chicken soup. So next one is what you can do that one. How to bring a jugad in a parenting. That should be a book, right, Vinaysa? <laughs> no, no, I never interfere with what an author wants to write. So <laughs> I'm sure she'll have better ideas. All right. So can we go to OnePlus 70 Pro? I don't get her name <laughs> here. <laughs> I send a prompt to unmute yourself, uh, OnePlus. Is there anything that you need to share on this platform? Um, yeah. Hi, this is um, this is Aditi, and I've been hearing everything out here. I'm like, um, I'm really enjoying the talks out here, and all good. I don't want to share anything. I, I would rather listen to everybody. I'm uh, I'm really liking everything, whatever has been said regarding the parenting and the jugar. Great, That's, great, uh, yeah. Aditi. Thank you so much for that. And do we have a Roy Taragan here uh, with us? Oh, no, he has left. Uh, maybe we can call. No, him. Niaz, oh. I'm there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. yes Hi, yes. Anil. <laughs> yeah. No, I think both the books, uh, both the reviews were excellent. I think from that point of view, uh, and as uh, Parveen mentioned, I mean, you know, on the book you can read a lot of stuff, but then I can still tell you there is not one size fit all solution. I have three kids, and I can I must tell you that all the three. They, they, you need to have be dealing with them completely differently on all the different days, you know. So yeah, it, it the book could definitely gives a lot of insights, a better way of mature way of handling things. But probably, yeah, it won't give us a solution 
to the to in in dealing with our kids in completely i mean it can give some uh, ideas so uh, one still needs to be very creative there <laughs> exactly and that's yeah. the reason yeah. why i have an exercise where you need to fill in your customized recipe okay. true <laughs> yeah. true very very important the book you have to read it for your knowledge but please make your own recipe true Fantastic. And and on Ankit's book again, uh, I I must tell you, yeah, I think that's that's an interesting book that has been, uh, I mean, from an Indian context, it makes a lot of sense when we look at historically the way we have been actually coming up with solutions that fit us, and then that also comes in from the point of view that creativity becomes its best, you know, when there are. when when you have to do something but then you don't you have to do you know uh, more with less kind of thing and that principle i really uh, i mean you know that some there over a period of time when when customers willingness to pay the safety standards change many things change and that is where we try to then forget about it you know uh, on doing more with less and then you keep on adding more and more and the whole thing you know the creativity is gets lost and then the the whole approach is different but but having said that i mean i also said if for there are two things i mean i want to add one is over a period of time as the consumers you know the, the when we can afford more uh, over a period of time we see that you know the basic creativity gets lost and then the focus shift to something else and and that's something which is actually as uh, in india also for us we should remember that once the consumers prosper and everywhere i mean the things that the focus would completely shift to a different area of creativity itself right that's one thing and secondly also as india i mean there's a lot of things we can also contribute not as jugad but also as true innovation to the world i mean today i am in food industry and i can tell you the whole focus is plant protein the whole the number one uh, consumer trend we have in our food is plant protein is one of the, the alternative protein now there's no better country to go or place to go if you want to really look at innovation around plant protein because we have been historically using i mean you know not meat so much in our in all form of food we eat so that's what we tell our global our, you know our colleagues also go and look at what india does in uh, all the you know look at the makalu tikki itself you know it's it's again a plant based solution to the chicken so there is a lot of other solutions we can offer as true innovation also probably it happened as or, or our culture or whatever it is so yeah that's all i wanted to add uh, but good 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 two sessions uh, happy that i joined this session thanks anil Thank and so ankit for inviting yeah. Thank, Thank you so you much Roy. Uh, anil you wanted to call zina right zina yeah sir i can see that she is online now Okay, or maybe we can call her. Yeah. Yes, thank you. I just add two things uh, uh, to what Roy said. Uh, so, uh, Roy, basically, thanks for coming in, and uh, on your both your points, uh, uh, they, they they are covered in the book. So you know that way is uh, uh, the people who have less, they don't really mean that uh, they aspire for less. So so that's one thing the book speaks about that you know although your income levels are less, but your aspirations levels are really high. they will not ex- accept anything that's really cheap so uh, the the example would be a tata nano you have seen the entire uh, ruckus of, you know of shifting of plants and you know being there in india making it and then giving it to people and people not accepting it still so because it was you know uh, branded as the cheapest car which which probably did not appeal to the uh, uh, population so that was on on your first point and on your on your second point where you say about you know speaking about uh, plant protein and uh, innovation in india so this speaks uh, the book also speaks about uh, tcs and the uh, 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 coordination or or the mm-hmm. collaboration that it has with various universities across the globe mm-hmm. so today uh, as as i'm you know with you be proud to be uh, you should say that you know it has the highest market cap in the it yeah. industry globally yes as a first venture uh, back so yes we we are uh, doing something you know uh, uh, which which is really in in true sense we are saying that we have a home grown industry and that industry is really flourishing and going uh, uh, beyond uh, the normal norms so yeah thanks thanks for highlighting that true 
Yes, Zina, are you there? Maybe you could pitch in now. Yes. I um, I had wrote this in chat for her, so I'll just read it out. I said it was simply freaking amazing because um, in her slide, she showed a picture, right? The two scenarios of the mother and daughter. Mm -hmm. I could not actually relate more. I have not been dumped, but I feel like I want so much support from my parents, which I'm already getting. I have so many mood swings as a teenager. I mean, I'm 12, like <laughs> bipolar disorder, because I am so sensitive. I feel like the need is increased to, in the, to X. I feel like uh, having mood swings are so fairly, uh, I felt like having mood swings are so silly and I just have to go with the flow. I just have to uh, keep it in, but this triggered me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, That Zina. support, that emotional good. support is always so needed. Wow, wonderful, Zina. You are yes, a very um, challenging tween at 12, <laughs> you are, right? <laughs> yeah. Hmm, great, and, great. Um, and, and this book about the Juga, I can literally say that he's, he's so passionate in business because the last time he did review a book, that was mm -hmm. also about business, right? I had seen that. <laughs> Um, at some, at, yeah, yes, right. sometimes I have been cut out, but I saw the refrigerator part, which is simply amazing. I just loved it so much. Thanks, thanks, Zina. Yeah. Nia, yeah, so uh, do we have anybody more to chip uh, in with I, their views? We do not have uh, many to chip in there. Whoever had it, they chipped it very well. <laughs> we have uh, 20 people uh, with us. It was uh, truly an insightful session, though we did not have many people on board us, but we had a very insightful session, fantastic session from Ankit and fantastic session from the Praveena team. And uh, it's uh, every time a uh, coincidence that, you know, our first speaker and second speaker book would go hand in hand. I believe Anil Thomas is the one who is working behind this engineering. Thank you so much, uh, Anil sir, once again for that. Uh, I guess uh, we are done here. Now time is a 6.40 Dubai time. So is there anybody else who would like to chip in, as she said, any of her view, any of their views and ideas that goes along with these two books? Anybody? I can read a few names out here. One is Shihab. I can read. Uh, one second. Anu, I can read. Uh, is that our Anu, who's a trainer? And Prasad Shetty, Fatima Suleiman, Anuradha yeah. Ramdas, Jill. Yeah, Rogers, maybe you, can, maybe you can call Rogers. So, and, yeah, yes. Rogers. Hi, Rogers. Hi, how are you? All good, Rogers. How are you doing? I'm good, though. Uh, battling a wood of cold and flu. Oh, oh, oh. wishing you a speedy recovery. Thank you. My voice is not audible enough. It's very you much audible. Quite clear. It's a, quite clear. like your morning voice. Thank you. No, I'm just kidding. Wishing you <laughs> a speedy recovery get soon. So, uh, I know Mr. Tho uh, Anil will uh, have updated you. We are working with uh, Anil behind the scenes to make Ibukri Africa operational. And uh, we are recruiting members. Our first book club, uh, e -book meeting of uh, Africa will be on 27th, Saturday. So purpose to attend. Great, great, fantastic. We all thank look you, forward thank to thank you, thank you. having it soon. Uh, anybody else here would like to chip in their views? If not, it's a time that we need to say a goodbye to everyone here. Once again, thanks a lot, Ankit and Praveen Singh for that wonderful session. Uh, definitely, this is a, something which we truly need to have, you know, it, we, we truly need to read. And not only reading, I mean, we need to apply that, uh, whatever uh, Praveen Singh uh, got for us. And Ankit, that was Jugad, amazing, amazing concept. Of. So thank you, everyone. And thank you so much, Sulata, for being a fantastic uh, co-host. And uh, you've been uh, terrific. You've been uh, wonderful. So, uh, can we uh, disperse? Is there anything else that we need to share? Bye. Good evening. 
Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Ankit, for that Jugad concept, especially in these pandemic days where we have so much of limitation in terms of resources. It is really a lesson to take home into our workplaces too. And Praveen Singh, lovely uh, guidance about parenting. So thank thanks so a lot. Much. Very thank enlightening you. session. And thank you, Niyas. It was really wonderful co-hosting with you. And thanks to Anil for uh, arranging this platform where all the thinking minds can connect. So, and uh, we would like to see everyone or we all would like to see everyone uh, on uh, next uh, Saturday as well. We are meeting every Saturdays, uh, Dubai time between 5 and 6.30. So please uh, be part of it and, uh, you know, share this with as many as possible, your group mates and, uh, you know, the people who are around you who would really love these kind of an activities that we are doing it. Uh, if we can touch one heart, you know, the next uh, week, uh, we would take that as something, you know, really uh, valuable for us uh, in our rest of the life. So please uh, cascade this. It's a shared responsibility of everyone out here. It's not, uh, you know, someone like an Anil or uh, me or Ankit can do it. It's a shared responsibility of everyone. At least, you know, share this uh, poster and link with uh, your, uh, you know, the groups where you are part of it. Please do that and, you know, take our uh, session uh, into the next level with the more people, as I always say that, you know, uh, more the people, the better entertainment, better fun, better discussion, because it is a platform where we all flex our cognitive, uh, you know, uh, mind. So thanks once again. So see you all on next Saturday with the two eminent speakers and two eminent uh, books. So till that, you know, happy reading. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thank everyone. You. Have a great weekend. See you all. Bye-bye. You too. Take care.